Hello and welcome to the Dutching channel. What we're going to do today is the form for Dutching for Exeter, Weatherby and Wolverhampton. But what we're going to do first is just start with the profit and loss sheet since I started putting the stuff on YouTube in advance. So we'll go from the 6th of March. I'm only going to go through this very quickly. It's every meeting per day there. The ones in red or pink are the losing meetings. But down the bottom here, you can see that we've had 238 bets to date, which means a stake of 11,900. We've got a profit of £1,784.22 up until the 18th. So we've been going 13 days and that is our profit so far. So that's what I just wanted to show you quickly, if you're following the system that is. But I know it's not easy for everyone to grasp how you do Dutch in betting. So what we're going to do now, we're going into Exeter. That's the first meeting of the day. I'm slightly going to do this different from normal. I'm not going to use Betfair. I'm going to use Matchbook today. It's just another exchange bookmaker if you want to sign up for them. It's nicely laid out. It's Betfair just gives you the sort of impression that it's old and I don't know if they're ever going to update it. A bit like eBay <laughs> when you're selling on there. That's like looks the same for the past 20 years. Right, so into Exeter. First race, 2 o'clock. No non-runners at the moment. Eight go to post. And just to let you know the time at the moment is 9.47 a.m., and it is the 19th of March, 2024, on a Tuesday morning. So we'll go into my sheet, and it tells us that my top selection is Stratton Oakmont. Stratton Oakmont is my top selection. Doesn't necessarily mean it will be favourite, but it's what I think will come first. Right, so this is a nicely laid out sheet. And just like Betfair at the top here, you can see, we, you might not be able to because of the colours, but it's in grey right in there. The over round price at the moment is 102.06, which is good. And the horse that we've got at the top is Stratton Oakmont, which is trading at 4.3. There isn't a lot of liquidity there. You can see it's £12.00. Then it goes back to 36, down up to 79, but the prices get lower and lower. So 4.3 means we would need a stake of £23.26 to receive return £100. And I don't know if you've been following this, but what we do, we stake £50 to return £100. That's our maximum return we can get, and that's the maximum stake we can lay out. But the last selection will always be less than the rest, but you'll see that as we go along. And the difference with exchange bookmakers to high street bookmakers is they do take a fee, commission, whatever way you want to call it, and they do take anything up to 5% from your winning part of the bet only. So if one of these horses was to win, we returned £100. They would take the £50 stake away from that. We would have a £50 profit. And on that £50 profit, they would take 5%, which would be £2.50. So expect, expect those to come out of your profits. Right, so getting back into this race, the second horse is... And I still don't know if it's in REM or, as in the group, in REM. 
This is currently trading at 12.5 with Matchbook. And I've got to remember the same Matchbook instead of Betfair. And that would require a stake of £8 to return £100. Our third selection is My Last Oscar. And My Last Oscar is trading at 13.5. So we would need £7.41 on this to return £100. Then what we do, we just quickly add up as we go along there. We've laid out £38.66, which leaves us £11.34 maximum to lay out. And we've got Long Shanks as our next selection. You can see that. That is trading at 4.8. And that's asked us to put £20.83 on. But if you remember, we just added up here. And we've only got £11.34. Now that £11.34 would have staked now £50. We couldn't go over this. It can only match £50. So because we couldn't put the stake on that we wanted, we can't return £100 on this. So we put £11.34 into the calculator and then we times it by the Matchbook SP of 4.8 which means we would get around £54 back for this. So it would be a sort of cover bet. We've laid out 50 overall. This one would get our money back, um, long shanks. But if Stratton Oakmont in REM or my last... Oscar were to win, we would return £100. So we got three running for us and one to get our money back. Now we move into the 230. There's horses in this race. Let's just get the race up first of all. Right, in the 230, you'll see here that there is a runner that hasn't seen a race course before. And you'll see that when you click on it. No race record for this horse. And that means it doesn't have a rating. So we can't have a bet in the race. We just put a line through that. And we move on to the next race. Which is going to be the 3 o'clock from Exeter. And seven runners go to post. And our top selection here is Good Boy Bobby. Now, Good Boy Bobby on Matchbook. Now, what I've got to learn to do here is move on to the next race. There we go. And Good Boy Bobby here trading at 9.6. And again, the over round, 101.77, it is, is backable. So 9.6 for good boy Bobby. And that tells us the stake needs to be £10.42 to return £100. Our second selection is Numitor. And Numitor is another one that's out the back there. That's showing at 10. And a stake of £10 on this at 10.0 would return £100. Our third selection is Iconic Muddle. And Iconic Muddle is trading at 7.6. And a stake of £13.16 pence would return us £100. Our fourth selection is Raffle Ticket. And Raffle Ticket is currently favourite at 3.65. So we'll see what we've laid out in those first three races. £33.57 means we can only put on this £16.43. pence, And we get always get the calculator out for the last selection. £16.43 times the matchbook SP of 3.65 will return 59, nearly 60 pounds. So again, 
This is a cover bet. It gives us a small profit of around £10. But the other three we've got running for us are Good Boy Bobby, Numitor, and Iconic Muddle. One of those three would return us £100. So you can see the difference of Dutching rather than just going and saying, I'll put it on the top selection. Because we know that the percentages are very low of just keep backing your one selection. I have um, a 57% strike rate, and it might actually be a little bit more this month, of backing more than one in a race. Because it doesn't matter. We're, we're going to get evens if one of our three win, and a, a free bet, if you like, if raffle ticket comes in. So this is a, definitely a better way of gambling. Right, so that is our second race, but Exeter's third race. And we're going to move into the 3.30. Now we can see down the bottom here, there is a non-runner in Art Approval. That leaves eight. And as we go into our Art Approval, yeah, that was still running, so... That is now deleted. That was our bottom selection anyway, so that was definitely not going to be a bet for us. So our top selection here is Paricolor. Might not be pronounced like that. Pericola, maybe. So we'll go back into Matchbook. Click on the next race there, which is the 3.30. And whether it's Paricolor or Pericola, that's trading at 7.6. Up the top here, the over round figure, 102.72. And you can do this if you're laying any bets as well. And 97.98 means that that is the difference of 2.02. So that would be 102.02. If you turn that around on a lay, right, it's a little bit hard to work that one out. I'll do a program on that at some point. So getting back to our selection here, we had Paricolor or Pericola at 7.6. And the stake there would be £13.16 pence to return £100. And 5L is our next selection. And 5L is currently second in the betting at 5.9. And stakes of £16.95 would return £100. Our third selection is Hot Rod Lincoln. And Hot Rod Lincoln is... Yep, down the bottom there. That's showing at 9.8 or trading. £10.20 stake will return £100. And so far, with those three combined added together, is £40.31. It means we've got £9.69 left to play with. And our next selection is High Game Royal. And High Game Royal is currently... Trading at 6.2, and that means we would have needed £16 on it, but we haven't got that much. So we're going to have £9.69 on our fourth selection to bring our stakes to £50. So calculator again, £9.69. Times 6.2 in the matchbook price returns us £60. So again, this is basically a cover bet. Gets a little bit of a profit in. That's for High Game Royal. And we've got Pericola or Paricola, 5L, Hot Rod Lincoln. Those three will be running for us to return £100. Moving now into the next race at Exeter. This is going to be the four o'clock. Seven go to post here, no non-runners. So we'll go into our spreadsheet. 
and the seven runners here are top selection light on the wing and light on the wing at matchbook and this one is trading at 6.6 .6, and you can see the over round figure of 102.26 and light on the wing 6.6 .6, and you've got to have stakes of 15 pound 15 pence to return 100 pounds our second selection is Samuel Jackson and Samuel Jackson is the outsider and that's currently trading at 18.5. So a stake there of £5.41 would return you £100. Our third selection is Cloudy Flamingo. And Cloudy Flamingo is currently trading at 5. And stakes of £20 here would return £100. Our stakes are now £40.56 for all those three, leaving us £9.44 to play. And our fourth selection is K. Rulum. Something like that. And this is currently trading at 5.1 with Matchbook. And as you know, we can't have £19.61 but we can have £9.44. So we'll need that calculator again. £9.44 pence times the SP of 5.1 would return £48. So basically, again, it's money back, all right, but £2 short of that but it's a cover bet and yet again we got three horses running for us so light on the wing samuel jackson and cloudy flamingo would return 100 pounds and k rulum would give us our money back basically all bar two pounds And now we're going to go into the last race at Exeter. This is the 4.30. Five were going to post, but Forest Chimes is now a non-runner. So if you're doing any bets there today, um, that's now going to be a win-only market. So let's go into my selections. And it's already a no-betting race anyway. And this is due to Yippie Kaye. If we just click on this horse, its last three runnings have not been under rules, they've all been in point to points. And again, I don't bet if they've not been under rules. So, that race again, you want to line through that one. And now we will move on to our second meeting, which is Weatherby. I will recap on everything afterwards, what we've given today. And Weatherby's first race, only three go to post here. It's just one of them weeks, I think, when you've got too much jump racing, there isn't enough horses to go around. So our top selection here would be Act of Authority. That's our number one selection. And what we need to do now is come out of Exeter somehow. Go back into horse racing. And... That's it. Now we're going to Weatherby. So at the moment, Act of Authority trading at 2.3. The over round is 100.22, which is brilliant. So 2.3. A stake of £43.48 would return you £100. But it only leaves us £6.52. It's taken a big chunk. And we've got Billy Boy Blue as our second favourite. 
and that is currently trading at 3.5. So with our £6.52, this will go on Billy Boy Blue, and the calculator, 6.52 times 3.5. That's going to give us nearly half our money back, so just under £23 we will get back if Billy Boy Blue was the win. And then we've got our main bet on the top one to return £100, and that is Act of Authority. Back into the Racing Post. And the second race here, the 2.45, all seven go to post here. And we'll go into our spreadsheet. And our top selection in the 2.45 is V12. V12. So we'll go back into matchbook, into the 2.45. And our selection here, V12, currently trading at 8.2. So a stake of £12.20 will return us £100. Our second selection, Chicago Gal, that's currently trading at 14.5. And a stake there of £6.90 will return us £100. And our third selection, Raffles Wonder. Now, Raffles Wonder is currently trading at 1.94. And again, the overround of the race is pretty good, 101.76. So 1.94 would be our third selection. Now, we know we can't put that much on. We'd already staked £19.09. and pence. So we can have £30.91 on Raffles Wonder. And that would be our makeup there of £50. So bring the calculator out again. £30.91 on Raffles Wonder times the 1.94 SP would return us 59.96 so nearly 60 pounds for the odds on favorite if it wins because we don't give that as our top selections and the two we've got running for us are v12 and chicago gale to return 100 pounds moving into the next race at weatherby this is the 315 all five go to post here. And our top selection at Weatherby 315 would be Carrigan Castle. And we'll go into Matchbook. And into the 315. And Carrigan or Carrigan Castle is 1.62. So this tells us at those prices, this is an odds on favourite. And when you have odds on favourite, our maximum stake is 50. We can't go over that. So that would be a one horse race. £50 times 1.62 would return us £81. But that would be the only bet of the race. Now we're going to move into the Weatherby 345. Six go to post here. Back into our spreadsheet. And our number one selection for the 345 will be top of the bill. And back into matchbook. 345. And top of the bill is trading at... 5.8 and you can see here another good over round 100.99 so top of the bill 5.8 on matchbook and the stakes of 17 pounds 24 
would return 100 pounds. Our second selection is Shyness, and Shyness is third in, currently trading at 5.3, and the stakes there would be 18 pounds 87 to return 100 pounds. And our third selection would be Collector's Item, which is currently second in, well, it was, now it's 5.5. And before we work the stake out there, the first two came to £36.11, and our maximum is £13.89, which it's going to have to be, or we'd be over the £50. And... Collector's item stake would be £13.89. pence. We would times that by the matchbook price of 5.5, and that would return us £76. So there would be a profit on that one, but a cover bet as well. And our top two selections, top of the bill and shyness, would return us £100 if one of those two were to win. Into the Weatherby 4.15. Nine go to post here. No non-runners at the moment. And on my spreadsheet, we go for our top selection of Fade, or Fiad, however that's pronounced. So we'll go back into matchbook for the 415 fiad is right down the bottom currently traded at 42 which means a stake there of two pounds 38 would return us 100 pounds mr barkley would be our second selection and mr barkley second favorite Trading at 4.3 with matchbook, and that would require a £23.26 stake to return £100. Our third selection is Mackie D, and Mackie D is the outsider at 50, and £2 stake would return £100. So you think. Yeah, I've got horses in this, that can't win, that can't win. You, you can hear people murmuring it, 40 to 1, 50 to 1. But you're putting very small stakes on them. So it doesn't really matter. And trust me, they do come in. Not often, but they, they do come in. Our fourth selection here is Oliver's Island. Oliver's Island is another one towards the bottom. This is currently trading at 18.5 with Matchbook. And that's a £5.41 stake would return £100. Those four combined at the moment come to £33.04, which means we've got £16.96 to play. And our next selection, our fifth selection, is Fange. And Fange is the favourite at 37 so, yeah, we couldn't afford £27. So, our markup here will be £16.96. And that brings it up to our stake of £50. So, we're going into Fange and the £16.96 stake times the 3.7 SP with matchbook would return £62. So it's another cover bet and perhaps a £12 profit. And then we've got four running for us, and that's Fiad, Mr. Barkley, Mackie D, and Oliver's Island. One of those four would return £100. And now we're going to go back into Weatherby. And you can see the last race, one of these races I don't like, the National Hunt Flat Race. And we'll just click on one of these horses with no form. And there you go.
no form on that so I just put a line through it we can't bet in it and that will be our last bet at Weatherby this afternoon then we've got an evening card or a twilight card whichever you want to call it beginning at half past five at Wolverhampton running through to 8.30 and another thing I will be uploading the full races of all these three meetings this afternoon about they normally get there around five to ten minutes after the race has been run so if you just wanted to watch it again see how your horse ran or or didn't run then you can do that also so we'll start with the first race at Wolverhampton this evening that's the 530 and yet you can see again there there's a horse or a couple of horses that don't look like they've got any form so there we go no form in the first race at Wolverhampton and these are good to have these these gaps because you'll think this afternoon all right well the last race at Weatherby is going to be quarter past four the next kickoff is going to be half past five and it gives you time to do what you haven't done while you've been sitting gambling all day so whether you can pencil that in for your, your dinner or whatever you're going to do, go shopping, you've got that gap. So it has its bonuses as well, that. So, yeah, no bet in the 5.30. Then we'll move along to the 6 o'clock, where now there are nine runners. There's two non-runners there, Muse House and Melly's Flyer. So we'll go into the 6 o'clock. And Melly's Flyer was my outsider. And Muse House was my eighth selection. So I doubt if we'd have got down to either of those. So that leaves nine runners. And our top selection here would be Basholo in the six o'clock at Wolverhampton. So again, we're going to horse racing, and let's see how long it takes us to pick up where Wolverhampton is going to be here. It's got to be an easier way of doing this, I think. So we'll click on 6 o'clock Wolverhampton. I don't think you would need to scroll all the way down. I'll, I'll look at this because I'm most probably going to use this on a daily basis. I quite like it. Right, so they've got two non-runners as well. And our top selection was Basholo. I might need just to put this up a bit. That's it. And at the moment, the over round of this race is 102.99. So these do beat Betfair in quite a big way. And sometimes you get deals on here where Matchbook only charge you 2% instead of 5%. So it makes all the difference to your winnings. So 5.9 for Basholo. And you require stakes there of £16.95 that will return £100. Then our second selection is Jemira Bridge. Jemira Bridge, that's currently trading at 21, which would require a stake of £4.76 to return £100. Our third selection is Hi Ho Tonto. And Hi Ho Tonto is the outsider there, or one of them, and that's currently trading at 16 with Matchbook. And £6.25 stake would return £100. Our next selection would be Hi Ho Let's Go. And Hi Ho Let's Go is also another outsider currently trading with Matchbook at 22 And stakes there of £4.55 would return £100. Our next selection, Munificent. Munificent is the second favourite at 4.6 with Matchbook. And let's see if we got enough money to do that bet, first of all. 
We've laid out £32.51 and a maximum stake of £17.49 is what we've got left. So £17.49 go into Munificent. And that would be our stakes then of £50 completed. £17.49 pence would be the stake on Munificent. And we times this by... 4.6 which is the matchbook price and that returns us 80 pounds so there's still a 30 pounds profit in munificent but we've got four running for us and we've got basholo jumira bridge hi ho tonto and hey ho let's go and one of those four would return 100 pounds Now we'll move into the next race at Wolverhampton. And you can see yet again, it's another one of these novice stake stroke maidens where horses haven't run before. So there'll be a line through that one. And that will take us now on to the Wolverhampton 7 o'clock. 10 go to post here. And our top selection, and it's most probably one of our best bets of the day, this, this is Fengari. Fengari. And we'll go back into Matchbook, go into the 7 o'clock. And Fengari is currently trading at 8. And one thing I didn't look at there was the overround. And the over round there, 102.74, so still not bad. And Fengari is trading at 8 with Matchbook, and £12.50 stake would be required to return £100. Lady in Havana. This is currently trading at 8.8, .8 and stakes of £11.36 would return £100. And our third selection is Mammy. And this is currently favourite at 5.3. This would require £18.87 to return £100. And so far we've laid out £42.73. We've got £7.27 left. And our fourth selection is 20 Bob which today's money would be a pound. Um, 9.6 is the bet, really said it, is the matchbook um, SP, if you like. And let's see, I don't know how much I had left now. It took me right out of my comfort zone. Right, the maximum amount of money we had left was £7.27. So that would be our maximum stake on this. We couldn't afford £10 something. That's our stakes now of £50 in this race. So we go 20 bob, £7.27 stake, times the 9.6, which was the matchbook price. And that returns us 21 pence short of £70. So there's still a... A profit on 20 bob of about 20 pounds. And our three selections in this race, Fengari, Lady in Havana, and Mammy. And one of those will return 100 pounds if it wins. Then we're going into the Wolverhampton 730. There is a non-runner down there at the bottom, leaving 11 runners. And that is Lady Wing Along. So we'll go into our 7.30. And again, this would have been our outsider. So that wouldn't have worried us about any betting terms. And our top selection here in the 7.30 is Bungle Bay. So we'll go back to Matchbook. And into the 7.30. I'll just give you the overall figure, which is the worst one so far. It's 104.41. So you would need that to come down 
a bit before you have a bet in this. Uh, Bungle Bay, that's currently 5.3 SP with matchbook and stakes of £18.87 will return £100. Our second selection is Bernie the Bear. And Bernie the Bear is currently the favourite here at 11 to 4. So 3.75. And would need a stake of £26.67 to return £100. Those two combined together have already come to £45.53. So we've only got 4.47 left to stake. And our third selection is Poor Finn. And Paul Finn is currently trading at 10. So we would put £4.47 because we can't afford a tenner. And that would be it there. That's our stakes laid of £50. And as we go back into Paul Finn, we see that the price with matchbook is 10 and we're going to times that by four point four pound forty seven, and that will give us forty four pounds back. So again, you're not going to win on that, but you're not going to lose much. So I always say it's just like a free bet if you can get that to win. But you have two here in Bungle Bay and Bernie the Bear. That if one of those was to win, you would have your hundred pounds back. Now into the penultimate race of the evening. This is the 8 o'clock from Wolverhampton. We've got 8 going to post here. And into my spreadsheet. And we've got our top selection as Lof Lian. And Lof Lian. Let's go into matchbook. Into the 8 o'clock. And you can see 101.79 on the over round, which is really good. And Lof Lian here is showing at 2.02, so basically even money. We need £49.50 stakes there to return £100. And we've only got 50 pence left. And Strictly Dreaming is... One of the outsiders at 32. So we will put the odd 50 pence on this one at 32. That will return £16. Doesn't sound a lot, but it's, it's better than putting the 50p in your pocket. So £16 return if Strictly Dreaming was the win. And again, you would have Lof Lian running for you to return £100. And the final race to the evening at Wolverhampton there would be the 8.30. 11 go to post. And our top selection in that last race is Louisiana Bay. And then we'll go into matchbook for the final time. I've been really pleased with this though. And at the moment... The over round is 104.45, so there's movement in that, so I would wait till later. And Louisiana Bay is the favourite here at 3.35, so just over 9 to 4. That requires a stake of £29.85 to return £100. Our second selection is Pittsburgh, and so is Matchbooks. That's 5.4. And stakes of £18.52 will return you £100. That leaves us £1.63. And our third selection is O de V. And O de V is currently trading at 16 with Matchbook. But all we could have on this one, just going back to those last two, was £1.63. So that will come to our last race there with our 50 stake in place. 
one pound sixty three on O to V times by the sixteen SP on matchbook would return twenty six pound and eight pence. So that would be half the money back if O to V was the win. And if Louisiana Bay or Pittsburgh come first, then there will be a return of £100 for either of those two. So that's been through the 19 races. There's not bets in all of them. We'll just recap quickly. In the 2 o'clock at Exeter, Stratton, Oakmont, in Rem, and my last Oscar, one of those three will return 100, and Long Shanks will take the rest of the money. No bet in the 2.30 at Exeter. In the third race, the three o'clock, Good Boy Bobby, Numitor, and Iconic Muddle will return 100 pounds, and Raffle Ticket will take the rest of the money. In the 3.30 at Exeter, Parry Color or Pellicola. Then we've got 5L and Hot Rod Lincoln. One of those three will return £100. And High Game Royale or Royal will have the rest of the money. Into the fifth race, the four o'clock. Light on the wing, Samuel Jackson and Cloudy Flamingo will return £100. And Care Rulum will take the rest of the money. Then in the last race at Exeter, this will be a no betting race. We move into Weatherby, the 215. Active Authority is our top selection to return £100. And Billy Boy Blue will have the rest. In the 245 at Weatherby, V12 and Chicago Gal would return £100. And Raffles Wonder would have the rest. In the 315 at Weatherby, Carriage and Castle is our only selection. So that would just be the full stake. The 345 at Weatherby, we've got Top of the Bill and Shyness. Both these would return £100 and Collector's Item would do the rest. Then the 415 at Weatherby, Fiat, Mr. Barkley. Mackie D and Oliver's Island will return £100 and Fianch would take the rest or Finch. The last race at Weatherby, the 445, is a no betting race. The first race at Wolverhampton, the 530, is also a no betting race. The 6 o'clock at Wolverhampton, Basholo, Jumeirah Bridge, Hi ho Tonto, hey ho let's go are the four selections to return £100 and Munificent would be the rest. There's also a no race in the 6.30 at Wolverhampton, there's a no bet in that one. Then into the 7 o'clock, Fengari, Lady in Havana and Mammy, one of those three will return £100 and the rest will be on 20 bob. Into the 7.30, we've got Bungle Bay and Bernie the Bear to return £100 and the rest of the money on Porfin. In the penultimate race, the 8 o'clock, we've got Luff Leanne. This will return £100 and Strictly Dreaming has the other money. And the last race, the 8.30 at Wolverhampton, we've got Louisiana Bay and Pittsburgh. One of those will return £100 and O de V will be the rest of the money. So I hope you get on as well as I have done recently. And there's the selections for today if you want to get on those. Or let us know what you back in advance and tell us what your fancies are today. And we'll be back tonight after this with the results roundup. And we'll see how we got on, whether... We had a nice profit again, or whether it was time for a loss. And, um, yep, happy punting.